Do you know what to do when somebody has you in a full Nelson? What you want to be doing is if I'm trying to drive your neck down to your belly button, you got to stop that from happening because it's super painful, especially if they're squeezing tight, you can't slide out. So he grabs C clamp. He does that. He pushes that onto his forehead. That's going to push into me and it's pretty strong. You guys, okay. It's really strong. If you use your whole core to do it Then he's going to squeeze those elbows down, I'm going to hold on full pressure here and I'm way stronger than Tyson. My hands will get out. This becomes a very interesting thing. We're just going to switch roles because I'm teaching, right? Is as he's pushing down here, first thing is connect those hands. Like I said, when I'm here and I'm trying to press up, if he was to interlock his fingers here, when I go to squeeze down on the elbows, you can see he wants to let go. Okay. If he had huge knuckles like mine, they would feel like you're going to rip them off. But the whole idea here is as I get my head up and back is now I'm squeezing my elbows, but look at my head. It's still staying up. So obviously I pull down double wrist control, pop yourself away. You can try to push in, but I wouldn't recommend it because then they can hug. I want to get his hands separated so I can get away from here, turn and face, and it's ready to go. But size matters, guys. Okay. Obviously, would Tyson do this to me? I've seen it. So I can't say that no is the probability a lot less because of his size for sure because he gets to go for a big ass ride. So again, he's squeezing my head down. Boom, it's starting to hurt. Can I use my neck strength? No. So I have to C clamp, get my pressure, push it up, squeeze it down. So now from here, what do we do? Right? I'm bigger and stronger. I have a couple more options. Yes, I want to get away. Yes, I want to find wrist control, maybe press down, maybe a little hip bump back, right? But I just never want their hands collecting again. So my fight should be to disengage. But I also have an option to step behind. Okay. I'm not a big fan of always stepping behind. I'm not, not a fan of it. But the reason why is as you've seen there, even in slow-mo, my foot got caught. I'm on one foot for a while. So if I can find a perfect motion, fantastic. If I'm bigger and stronger, I just pick up both legs. Tyson's going for a ride. Just give him a chuck, right? So what are we doing again? He's pushed my head down. I stop down by going up. I go up, I squeeze down. I open it up. I add in the old elbow karate chop. He's down to the ground. We are good, right? I don't care. You do whatever you want, right? Some guys are what I used to teach was like, okay, we're down here. C clamp, head up, boom, elbows down nice. Fake this elbow, go for this elbow. Maybe you'll get that elbow. But the thing is against the wrestler, if he tucks his head in tight to me, right? See, he wants to grab, don't grab yet, right? He keeps the head in, I can't do that. Then if he's defending that and I'm worried about this, now he's gonna grab. And now I gotta be doing all my bear up defense. What are we trying to build though? Is we're building that first instinct of what? Something's coming in, bear hug, he's gonna go for a ride, right? Well, Nelson, he's coming up. So if they're going up, and pushing down, you're going back up, you're squeezing those elbows down, that's gonna break that grip. Then he's gonna find wrist control, get himself away. It's good enough to me. Stay safe out there.